Jose says, how can I monitor teams? I'm having connectivity issues. It's slow and there are connectivity cuts. Could you help me? Are Actually, you... this, this was something that Richard Toland covered yesterday in, Com in his session at Comsy Next, which will be recorded and posted. But he went through and he's, sorry. He went through and he um, outlined why you know, all the hardware, the hardware and software issues and connectivity issues for this reason. But I will defer to the technical people, but I just thought it's funny. This is the second time in two days I've heard this. Is there is there a link to that that we can provide, Sherry? Are you able to yes. find anything from Richard? There, there will be. The recordings from the conference will be posted um, within the next few weeks, I'm guessing. So, um, I yeah. Well, I'll grab you the link to the to the session page, which should get updated with the live video once it's available. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. So I mean, because the first thing I, you know, having the connectivity issues, one problem that's very common. Like if I go into a meeting or I'm going into a community call or something, and there's issues. I mean, my first thing as I do is like if I'm experiencing that and and other, maybe a couple others, but maybe nobody else is saying, hey, I'm having issues, I exit and I go back in. Sometimes that solves. Mm -hmm. um, other times there's something funky going on that other people are uh, reporting similar issues. There may have been, it's just the reality of the SaaS world, the evergreen world, is that there might be an update that's partially filtered through the, the tenant, whatever that you're on, that could be impacting something. So that's just another reality. It's like sometimes when I remember months ago that the record button just disappeared. Mm -hmm. Just was it wasn't a menu option. My tenant, same meetings that we record like these, these sessions. And I would, you know, in half a day or a day later, there it was again. Um, so there's those kinds of issues. Again, it's just because of the nature of evergreen SaaS offerings. And I think a lot of it is like, is it me or is it you, right? Yeah. So the first thing I do is I hit a browser and do speed test. Somebody says, how do you do a speed test? I'm like, you go to a browser, you type in speed test, and a little button comes up and says, run a speed test yep. and find out what your upload and downloads are. And if it's you or if it's me, you know, sometimes it's Teams and sometimes it's my connection. Mm -hmm. And um, there's things you can do like turning off the incoming video or turning off your own camera yeah. because Teams kind of uh, goes through and, and cherry picks and prioritizes for you what's important. Yeah. And, you know, sharing video or sharing your screen, you kind of have to decide if you've got low connectivity, what you're willing to give up because you, and in order to improve the other areas. So first thing, do I have, do I have a good connection or is it not me? And then, then you go in and like change the incoming video in the more options menu. Yeah, I mean, like anything is, you know, how many tabs do you have open in, in uh, uh, you know, in Chrome or Chromium, you know, um, that impacts that. What other applications are open? Oh, yeah, I had Spotify on pause for the last three hours and I and the, the 40 tabs that I have open and other applications and things that are going on. I'm pa playing Halo in the background. I mean, all of those things. <laughs> that, uh, I'm, just, I'm playing I'm, Halo example, while on my Teams meeting. Just, just an example of things that could be happening out there. Um, well, the first thing Richard showed was a screenshot of his system file. Or the um, oh, What is it? The control it, delete, system tray. And, yeah, okay. system tray. And yep. every, all the processes that run, as soon yeah. as you launch Teams, there's like 20 processes that fire up. Yeah. And and if you're like me, I'm usually working in multiple Teams. So I've got Teams open in a browser. I've got Teams open in the desktop. And each mm -hmm. one of those is spinning up and sucking up any yep. kind of processor speed I have. Um, so, you know, that I, one of the things, a resource hog. Yeah. Along the resource hogs, too, is that uh, uh, I find that, especially if I'm going to record a segment, I turn my VPN off because that mm -hmm. cuts mm -hmm. my signal in half. As fast yeah. as they say it is, man, that's just brutal what it does to Teams. Yeah. So usually I turn that off and Teams brightens up right away. And then, of course, all the hackers get in. <laughs> <laughs> he talked about that, too, and how the VPNs are set up with their tunnels. And let's say, you know, you're overseas. Your tunnel is in the U.S. So you're he's saying you're having... 
forcing people to go back to the U.S. to come back to where you are to participate in a meeting, and that can really cause Well, that's issues. why you, you change your location of where you're, you're routing that through in your VPN. So that's something when I travel, I do. I'm very aware of, okay, where, which office is this going through? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, for exactly that reason. Yeah, and most of us would not know to do that. Hand in the air, I would not know how to do so that. It, I would also offer this going back to my old role many, many years ago. Wow. 21 years ago, uh, if you are in a uh, an area region where you have uh, you know habitually slow ac you know internet access, poor access, there are other tools that are out there. There are you know various edge devices. There's WAN optimization solutions and things that can help improve the performance. But I mean, sometimes the answer is like, look, Teams is a is a hog, mm -hmm. and you need a fatter pipe. Sometimes, yep. yeah. So, and a faster used, processor. Yeah. I used to do recordings like this on Wi-Fi in my house, and yes, I live in a in a community where internet. You know, I've got fiber coming to my house and everything. But if your Wi-Fi is terrible, your Teams meetings are going to be terrible. And yeah. I now have a hundred foot blue Cat five cable, Cat six cable, running through the center of my house because I haven't had the chance to properly install it yet, specifically because of this exact problem. Yep, I'm I'm wired as well. Yep. Also, going reason. back to <laughs> going back to Sherry's comment about Tolan's presentation with the uh, the systems tray, I can't find it, and I'm really upset. But there is an Obi Wan Kenobi meme that go, that's going around where the systems tray has crashed, and it says non responsive, and then it's Obi Wan going, "You were supposed to solve the problem, not become <laughs> one with it." <laughs> that would be awesome. You need that. to find that and share that with us. <laughs> I will find it. <laughs> but I think one of the, the takeaways here is you want Microsoft Teams to just work like a light yeah. switch. Turn it on and it works. But uh, between the three of you, you've listed off at least three or four different factors that can affect the performance. You might have a great computer, but if you don't have an equally proportionate bandwidth or the other resources or if you're doing yeah. too much on your computer or you're in a resource constrained world if it's not in balance well then teams for the volume of data that it's pushing through it's going to suffer so i mean oh. these are fundamental problems that it's not a teams it's the most of what we described are not a teams a, a microsoft it's look any high bandwidth application enterprise application and having a good connectivity specifically has Microsoft talked about like monitoring specifically? I mean, admins can go in and look at Teams performance and look and see like which workloads that are struggling and having problems because there might be one aspect of Teams or another that could be experiencing issues. And as I mentioned, could be uh, you know updates and other things, new features. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, for end users, it's really just you know, the performance of their system and their connectivity that you can monitor. There's nothing that they can see about how Teams health in general is running. You have to be an admin to see workload health within the admin portal. I, I agree on the team side. I don't think there is very much for the end users. I go back to Sherry's recommendation. Like when you aren't in the meeting, do a speed test. And, and run a speed test like on a semi-regular basis and keep track of what that looks like. Because if you notice that at one o'clock every day, your network goes slow and you run a speed test and you verified it, I bet there's something on your network doing doing nefarious things that you don't want done. So yeah. Yeah. that's that's really your first your first line of defense. Yeah, and my brother is a, a gaming streamer guy and he's a hardware guy. He built my system. So usually it's not my system. Let me just say. Yeah. I've got a gaming this. system. It's yeah. a VR system. It's, you know, high-end graphics, like all those kinds of things, normal things. I've got a fiber connection. I'm usually somewhere between 600 and 800 um, with the VPN running. Um, so when I experience issues, I'm like there's something else going on. It's like, it's not me. It's mm -hmm. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not you, Kristen. It's never you. Of course not. For <laughs> <Word> change. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>